Section. Introduction. In this section, we will discuss the recent advancements in diffusion models for content generation, such as images, 3D objects, and videos. These models have shown great potential in creating high-quality content compared to previous methods like Generative Adversarial Networks, GANs. However, ensuring consistency in generated images and videos, especially in terms of character's identity and attire, remains a challenge. Existing methods like IP adapter and identity preservation techniques focus on guiding the generation process using reference images or maintaining identity control but struggle with ensuring consistency in attire and scenarios. Our goal in this study is to develop a method that can generate images and videos with consistent characters in both identity and attire while allowing users to control the content through text prompts effectively. To address this, we introduce consistent self-attention as a key component of our story diffusion framework. This method enhances the consistency between images by incorporating reference tokens during the attention calculation process. By leveraging self-attention and reference images, we can generate images that maintain character consistency crucial for storytelling. Our approach enables the generation of subject-consistent images by establishing correlations across images in a batch, ensuring identity and attire consistency. By dividing a story text into prompts corresponding to individual images, our method can effectively generate a coherent visual narrative. To support long story generation, we combine consistent self-attention with a sliding window along the temporal dimension, reducing memory consumption dependency on text length. Additionally, we introduce the semantic motion predictor to forecast transitions between images in the semantic space, resulting in smoother video frames compared to existing methods. In summary, our contributions include the development of consistent self-attention for character consistency in generated images and the semantic motion predictor for stable video frame generation. These components, along with text-specified motions, form the story diffusion framework enabling the creation of long image sequences or videos based on text-based stories. Section Summary In this section, we introduce the rapid development of diffusion models for content generation like images, 3D objects, and videos, showcasing superior performance compared to previous GAN-based methods. While existing models struggle with generating subject-consistent images and videos for storytelling, we propose consistent self-attention in story diffusion to maintain character consistency in generated images while maximizing user control via text prompts. Additionally, we present the Semantic Motion Predictor module to predict transitions between images in the semantic space, enabling stable video frame generation for long stories, outperforming methods like SANE and sparse CTRL. Section. Controllable Text to Image Generation. In this section, we delve into controllable text to image generation, which is a crucial aspect of diffusion model applications. Recently, methods like latent diffusion, DIT, and stable XL have gained attention in the field of text to image generation. To enhance control over this process, various techniques have emerged. ControlNet and T2I adapter, for instance, introduce conditions like depth maps or sketches to guide image generation. On the other hand, mask diffusion and structure diffusion focus on improving text control. Some methods also concentrate on controlling the layout of generated images, such as ID preservation, which aims to create images with specific IDs. These methods can be categorized based on whether they require fine-tuning during testing. Some methods, like textual inversion and dream booth, only need partial fine-tuning with a given image. Others, like IP Adapter and PhotoMaker, utilize models pre-trained on large datasets, enabling direct image usage for controlling image generation. In contrast, our focus is on maintaining subject consistency across multiple images to tell a story. Our approach, consistent self-attention, is both training-free and adaptable, allowing connections to be established across images within a batch to generate subject-consistent images. Moving on to video generation, the success of diffusion models in image generation has spurred interest in video generation. Text-based video generation has garnered significant attention due to its intuitive nature. 
methods like VDM have extended 2D UNet to 3D UNet for video generation. To address the computational cost associated with video generation, newer works like Magic Video and Mindscope have introduced 1D temporal attention mechanisms, reducing computations by building on latent diffusion models. Imagine Video and Show One have proposed multi stage approaches to balance generation quality and efficiency. Apart from traditional text to video generation, there is a growing interest in video generation with additional controls such as depth maps pose maps, RGB images, or guided motion videos. These conditional inputs enhance the controllability of video generation. Our video generation method focuses on transition video generation, aiming to create videos with specified start and end frames. Works like SANE and Sparse CTRL have explored transition video generation methods, but they often struggle with complex transitions. In contrast, our method, Story Diffusion, aims to improve performance by making predictions in image semantic spaces, enabling better handling of large movements in videos. Our method consists of two stages. In the first stage, consistent self-attention is used to generate subject-consistent images without the need for training. These images can be directly used for storytelling and as input for the second stage, where consistent transition videos are created based on these images. Section Summary. In this section, we introduce controllable text to image generation methods like ControlNet and T2I Adapter that enhance image generation by incorporating control conditions such as depth maps and pose images. Our focus is on maintaining subject consistency across multiple images to tell a coherent story, achieved through our consistent self-attention approach that enables interactions among image features within a batch. By utilizing self-attention to ensure character consistency during image generation, our training-free method efficiently produces subject-consistent images, crucial for storytelling and video generation. Section. Semantic Motion Predictor for Video Generation. In this section, we refine the sequence of character-consistent images to create videos by adding frames between each pair of adjacent images. This process is like generating a video with specific start and end frames. However, we notice that existing methods like sparse CTRL and SANE struggle to smoothly connect two condition images when there is a large difference between them. This difficulty arises because these methods rely solely on temporal modules to predict intermediate frames, which may not be sufficient to bridge the gap between the two images. The temporal module works independently on each pixel's spatial location leading to a lack of consideration for spatial information when predicting intermediate frames. This limitation makes it challenging to capture long distance and physically meaningful motion accurately. To overcome this challenge, we introduce the semantic motion predictor. This predictor encodes images into a semantic space to capture spatial information, resulting in more precise motion prediction between a given start and end frame. In our semantic motion predictor, we use a function E to map RGB images to vectors in the image semantic space, capturing spatial details. Instead of using linear layers for E, we employ a pre-trained clip image encoder to benefit from its zero-shot capabilities and enhance performance. By applying E, the start frame F underscore S and end frame F underscore E are transformed into image semantic space vectors K underscore S and K underscore E. We then use a transformer-based structure predictor in the image semantic space to predict each intermediate frame. This predictor first expands the two frames k underscore s and k underscore e into a sequence k underscore 1, k underscore 2, k underscore l using linear interpolation, where l is the desired video length. This sequence is then fed into a series of transformer blocks b to predict the transition frames. Next. We decode these predicted frames from the image semantic space into the final transition video. We position the image semantic embeddings P underscore 1, P underscore 2, P underscore L as control signals inspired by image prompt methods. We use a video diffusion model as the decoder and include additional linear layers to project these embeddings into keys and values for cross-attention in UNet. During the diffusion process, 
Each video frame feature V underscore I is concatenated with the text embeddings T and the predicted image semantic embeddings P underscore I for cross-attention computation. To train our model, we optimize it by calculating the mean squared error, MSE, loss between the predicted transition video frames O equals O underscore 1, O underscore 2, O underscore L, and the ground truth frames G equals G underscore 1, G underscore 2, G underscore L, to ensure accurate video generation. By encoding images into an image semantic space to incorporate spatial relationships, our semantic motion predictor can better capture motion information, resulting in smooth transition videos with significant motion. The improvements and results demonstrating these enhancements can be seen in the provided figures. For the implementation details, we applied our method on Stable Diffusion XL and Stable Diffusion 1.5 for generating subject-consistent images. We conducted comparisons using the Stable XL model with the same pre-trained weights as the comparison models. All models used 50-step DDIM sampling, and the classifier free guidance score was consistently set to 5.0. For generating consistent videos, we utilized the Stable Diffusion 1.5 pertained model and integrated a pre-trained temporal module. All comparison models used a 7.5 classifier free guidance score and 50-step DDIM sampling. We trained our transition video model on the WebVid 10M dataset following previous methods. To evaluate our method for generating subject-consistent images, we compared it with the ID preservation methods IP adapter and PhotoMaker. We used GPT-4 to generate character and activity prompts and combined them to create test prompts. Qualitative and quantitative comparisons were conducted to assess the performance of these methods in consistent image generation. The qualitative results showed that our story diffusion method produced highly consistent images compared to IP adapter and PhotoMaker, which sometimes generated images with inconsistent attire or less controllable text. The quantitative evaluation demonstrated that our story diffusion method outperformed the comparison methods in text image and character similarity metrics, indicating its robustness in maintaining character consistency while adhering to prompt descriptions. Section Summary In this section, we propose a semantic motion predictor for video generation that encodes images into an image semantic space to capture spatial information, improving motion prediction accuracy between start and end frames. By utilizing a transformer-based structure predictor in the image semantic space, we can predict intermediate frames more effectively, leading to smoother transition videos with significant motion. Our method outperforms recent approaches in generating subject-consistent images and videos, showcasing enhanced performance in maintaining character consistency and adhering to prompt descriptions. Section. Comparisons of Transition Videos Generation. In this section, we compare our transition video generation method with two state-of-the-art methods, sparse CTRL and SANE. We use about 1,000 randomly selected videos as our test dataset. We use three models to predict the intermediate frames of a transition video based on the start and end frames to evaluate their performance. For qualitative comparisons, we find that our story diffusion method outperforms SANE and sparse CTRL. Our generated transition videos are smooth and realistic. In visual examples, we see that SANE produces corrupted intermediate frames with sudden jumps, while sparse CTRL shows slightly better continuity but still contains corrupted images. In contrast, our story diffusion generates videos with very smooth motion and no corrupted frames, maintaining consistency and quality throughout. In quantitative comparisons, we compare our method with SANE and sparse CTRL using four metrics, LPIPS first, LPIPS frames, CLIPSIM first, and CLIPSIM frames. Our model performs better across all metrics, demonstrating its strong performance in generating consistent and seamless transition videos. We also conduct an ablation study to test the performance of generating consistent images with a user-specified ID. By combining our consistent self-attention with PhotoMaker, we can generate images that adhere to the specified control ID, 
showcasing the scalability and flexibility of our method. Furthermore, we investigate the sampling rate of consistent self-attention and find that a rate of 0.5 is optimal for maintaining subject consistency while minimizing the impact on the diffusion process. In a user study involving 30 participants, we evaluate the effectiveness of our subject consistent image generation and transition video generation methods. Our model outperforms the state-of-the-art methods IP adapter, PhotoMaker, Sparse CTRL, and SANE confirming its superior performance in both image and video generation tasks.